I think Senate Bill 373 is actually a testimony to what can get done when you put partisanship, self-interest aside and actually do the right thing. And I mean, not only in the sense of uh, it was introduced in the Senate a week after the uh, chemical spill, it worked through the process, the entire legislature. It passed both chambers uh, unanimously, twice, two different times, and then today the governor signed it. But I'd want to say that with Senate Bill 373, the process did work, but the reason why it worked is because of the people. The people were involved, engaged, empowered to make sure that this bill got through because they demanded that their water resources be protected. And that no legislator, no special interest group, no self-interest group was going to any way stop that. And I think that the whole, the reason why Senate Bill 373 passed is because of the people. There's no question. If the people were not behind it, it would not have happened. And so therefore, that's why I dedicate this bill as the People's Bill of 2014. As I mentioned before, or as mentioned at the bill signing, that you know, there's a lot of credit to go around to different groups, the Senate, the House, the Governor. Um, but however, I want to reemphasize the fact that, that the public, if it weren't for the public, this bill would have never happened. And I want to thank every individual that was actually involved in this and engaged, that called, that wrote their legislators, that emailed, that showed up in candlelight uh, uh, rallies and vigils and protested, that everyone who made an effort to have input or to express their opinion about protecting their water resources, I want to thank them because without you, there would have been nobody that would have stepped up for that and this bill would have never happened. Without you, this Senate Bill 373 would not have been signed today by the governor.